Hi guys, welcome to Matt Bayeski, uh, Crystal's channel. <laughs> Which channel are we on today? <laughs> oh my God, did it rain last night or did it rain? It rained, whoa. <laughs> you could feel mother nature breathing. How are you all doing guys? It's a beautiful day today. Um, feeling um, somewhat, um, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but I feel happy today. The reason why is because I've got this, um, I, I just um, found this. <laughs> you know, sometimes you look back on your life and it brings joy, you know, photos and things like that. Well, I found a little photo book. <laughs> it was when my little boy and I were so close and uh, I took him to, um, I took him to, um, uh, I mean, I didn't have much money then, but I, I, I saved up and took him to um, a photographer and I thought he should have some lovely photos so he could have them when he gets older. So I'm gonna show you what he looks like, my little boy, when we were like best friends. That's Nico. You've seen him on the videos, right? Uh, he's done some videos with me. That's what he was like when he was a little boy. And I'll show you me when I was a little boy. That's me when I was a little boy. Not far off, eh? He's a little bit older here, and I was a little bit younger, obviously, but you can see a little bit of a, a likeness. <laughs> so I was looking through these photos, thinking, oh, this is so beautiful. So I'm going to be heading to UK shortly, and I'm going to bring him these as a, 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 as a gift. But yeah, there's some great photos in here. I'd love to show you them all, but it'll probably take too long. I'll just show you one more, shall I? It's so cute. Look at this one. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> he actually looks miserable here, but he's not. He was a happy little boy, but look at that one. <laughs> look at the top hat. Such a cute. Eh? Yeah, I used to uh, I used to love picking him up because me and his mum, unfortunately, we split up. And that was a hard part of my life, really hard. And um, I went to pick him up on the weekends. <clears throat> And uh, I took him shopping. It was so lovely. We had we had a great time when he was a little boy. And then <clears throat> and then I ended up meeting um, Susie, and then we had China, and that was really lovely because that fulfilled the part that was missing when um, we had Nico to my first marriage, and then I had to sort of say goodbye, and I never had that connection like I did because I, I like a lot of you already know if you know me. Um, I talk about this a lot when people go through the um, the breakup. Uh, it's a challenge because you know I, I always remember uh, feeding him on a night. It was so lovely. It was the best part for me. You know, I used to hear you know him start to cry and not cry, cry, but just a little. And I, you know, go into the bedroom at around three o'clock and I take him downstairs and I warm the bottle up and then uh, lay him on my chest, feed him. And we were both kind of bare, you know, he had his nappy on and and I'd, I'd have no, I just have my uh, underpants on and he'd lie on my chest after I'd fed him and we'd both fall asleep. You can't, you, 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 you can't even uh, uh, describe the feeling of love and connection when that happens. So if you're a dad, you know what guys, tell your wife, I want to feed my child. Uh, tell him to um, uh, express some milk and you do some feeding on a night. I'm telling you, it's the most beautiful experience that should never be missed. That's my feeling. And like I said, after that marriage broke down and it was a struggle for me because I didn't have that connection anymore on a night, it was really challenging, but that was one of my challenges. And then met Susie and we had China and, you know, I, I'd hoped Susie would say the same, that I was a good father, that, you know, I really wanted to be involved and be part of that. And, you know, me and China ended up best friends as kids. We, you know, and I, I remember saying to Susie once, having China next to me in the car when we were driving, right next to me was like I was on my own with her. Like I, this was me, it was the same person. So it felt so natural for China to be with me. It was never uh, an issue or a worry or a fear. It was just like me be, it was me just next to 
me. <laughs> and that that's something really special as well. So that connection's always been there. So yeah, I was meant to talk about crystals today, but hey ho. <laughs> When is he going to start talking about crystals? Shut up, you're boring me. <laughs> the title says nothing about this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't conform to what everybody else does. Hey ho, look what I've been working on. Oh, get ready for it. <laughs> look at them beauties. This is Moldavite, guys. Welcome to the Moldavite world. So I work on these Moldavites through the night, as I did last night. So these beauties I worked on through the night. So I, I either take a handful or I take the whole lot in my hand and place it on me and place my hand we either within uh, the crystals or just at the side of the crystals. So it'll be on me and then I'll work on certain energies that I want to put into these crystals. And then um, the end up after that, the end up light. This! Yay! My first ever Moldavite! <laughs> That's exactly what it looked like. And the most powerful. Um, yes, people still get it into their heads that they have to have a big piece of Moldavite for it to work better, which is obviously absolute nonsense. Um, the smallest of piece vibrates equally to a big piece. Yeah, I, lo I love big pieces because I like feeling the whole of a big piece in my hand when I'm working with them or when I'm wearing it, it feels lovely, but little pieces are equally as good. So people often ask me, oh, I've only got a little piece. Uh, I should be buying a bigger piece. And I go, well, you're obviously not working with it then. You're obviously not feeling it because a little piece is equally as powerful. You stick this tiny little piece on your forehead and do meditation and tell me it doesn't work. <laughs> Boom, blows you away. So today we're going to talk about um, something really beautiful that I teach people and share with people for many years and it's basically um, massaging the body, uh, massaging the illness, massaging um, uh, the, the negative energy, the blocks, the, 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 the deep, um, I don't want to say dark energy but Sometimes it can be, it's like a shock energy. Uh, at a moment in your life where something's happened, it can attach to the body and it can stay there. Uh, and, I, and it's true. Um, I often said my mum passed into the light with stomach cancer because of the shock energy that she received most days from my father being so angry and aggressive and wanting to hit uh, one of the children with his anger, you know. And that shock energy sticks. And if we can't clear that away, it can manifest into illness, and it does. And that's my whole belief. After these years of working with clients, I, I saw the correlation. I saw the connection. I saw, I joined the dots when people were coming to me with certain illnesses. And we used to talk and they used to share their, their story with me. I, I could see that, you know, if I was to write a book now, I could say to you, the reason why a lot of people have illnesses in certain parts of the body is because of certain things that have happened as a shock energy to the body. Now, that's not saying everything because there's also a combination with that and how you and what you put into your mouth as well and what's injected into you as a child. So there's so many combinations, so many reasons, but there are definitely connections too. The physical body being ill uh, being ill in certain places the illness created whether it's the breast and I think I already told you about this once before there was a guy I'm not so sure if he's still alive or not but he's called Dr. Hammer and Dr. Hammer would take your brain scan and basically the brain scan is is apparently amazing and it's like when you cut a tree and you look at the rings of the tree, it shows you the age, but it also tells you, apparently, this is what I was told by a tree surgeon, that you can actually tell um, through its age, did it have any illnesses? Did it have any, um, you know, problems as it was growing? Did it, was it, was it starved of water? Did it have too much water? And so on. Well, believe it or not, everything in nature is equal to everything in, in us. The five points as we stand like that. The five points cut a fruit, an apple, you'll see the five points, uh, flowers. So when you look into all of this, it's so fascinating. 
And I often say to people that if you can pick the right crystal, it can heal the right part of your body. It really can. And it's true. If you pick the right fruit, it will heal the right part of the body. If you pick the right vegetable, if you pick the right herb, nuts, berries, they will fix certain parts of the body. So it makes sense that everything in nature that's grown is there to give us what we need when we need it. But the secret is to find that certain fruit and vegetable. The, the secret is, and it's all been taken away. It's all, it was all there in the ancients, in the wisdom of the, um, the Egyptians and so on. But it's been, it's been br brushed aside. And now what have we, we've removed that and changed it to pharmaceutical man-made poisons. So now we get even more poisoned, we get even more ill, and thus we've lost our connection to Mother Nature and how he heals us. But 2020 is a great year because we're starting to listen uh, to people and that wisdom is coming back again and people are saying, you know what, I'm sick of being ill, I'm sick of going to the doctors, I'm sick of taking tablets and more tablets and then finding I'm even more ill because of the tablets of what they've done for me. And we now know that it's the third largest killer. You take tablets, it, they're gonna kill you. At the end of the day, they were, yes, some make you feel better, but the, the effects and the cause of those tablets will cause even more illness in the body. So we are now moving on a path of healing ourselves in a natural way. So we move on to the beautiful crystals of healing the body in a beautiful way. How do I do it? Well, I'm gonna share one um, tip, one little um, uh, way, and there's many ways, but I'm gonna kind of give you an idea of how it works. So, it's always better to get a crystal that isn't like this, okay, which is rough. Here's a Moldavite in here, in its, in its mother stone, eh? Look at that. Incredible, eh? Well, you don't want to be rubbing that on your body unless you're going under your feet here <laughs> and you're going to give yourself a good scrub, right? No, we're going we're gonna to look for something smooth, if possible. Now, here's um, a rose quartz. And it's a little bit bumpy, but you know what? You can use that no problem. That'll work really well. Um, okay, so here's a nice little crystal. Have a look at that. And can we use that? Yeah, we can use that really easy. That could work really well. Slightly big. So what, what else do we go to? We'll go to a little one, okay? Here's another little crystal. Okay, clear quartz. We just, yeah, that works. That works lovely. So we're gonna kind of go through a few crystals. Have a look at this one. This is a nice one. Look at this beauty. Oh, lovely color. Let's just try that. Yeah, that works really nice. I like that. Oh, hang on a minute. That feels really good. Just when I did that, I just got tingling on my face. Maybe this crystal is what I need to use today because I felt something. Let's just go to somewhere else and give this a try. This is another lovely little crystal, nice high quality crystal as you can see. A lovely laughing Buddha, let's give it a tummy a little rub. <laughs> uh, you know why you rub the tummy, right? It gives you a good look apparently. <laughs> I rub my own. Okay, look, let's try that. That feels good. Nice, okay. Um, I did get a, a really beautiful feeling with this crystal here. So I'm gonna use this crystal. What I'd like you to do is go and find your own crystal. Now, if you have, let's say, um, something on your neck and you're wearing a, a pendant, okay? You can easily grab the pendant and use this pendant, okay? And if you've got this kind of pendant, which is a, a cavern site, it's gonna probably scratch a little bit too much, but if you turn it this way, you have a flat surface so that is a really nice way to work and you don't need to worry about the silver that that's not going to cost silver is really good for the body so don't worry so you just rub nicely like this okay so there's just a few tips a few ideas so i'm gonna now work <clears throat> on basically this part of my body okay all here just this section all on here. I'm gonna show you how I work and may come down to the fingers, let's see. So first of all, <clears throat> let me have a drink. It's excited, isn't it? 
Okay, so on my um, my sensitivity at this moment, how I'm feeling right now in my body and on my arm and how my whole body feels, I would say I'm vibrating at round about 85%, okay? I, my body feels amazing. I feel strong, I feel in tune, I feel great. I've been doing some work on the crystals yesterday and I was using this hand a lot, working with the crystals. Um, you know, just a, a lot of movement. I also moved a lot of crystals around. I was doing a lot of work, so both of my, my hands are feeling a little bit achy, okay? That's it, the rest of my body feels great. Emotional-wise, <clears throat> I feel really on, on par, fairly balanced, you know, maybe 80% balanced. <clears throat> uh, and, and yeah, I guess that's it. I feel about 80% balanced, both mind, body, and spirit. Right, so this is gonna be on a physical level that I'm gonna do this healing technique, okay? So I've now found my crystal because this one out of the crystals that I chose, something felt different on my body while I was using it. That is my indication, okay? If something doesn't feel different and you've chosen five or six or seven, it doesn't matter. What you would then is you what would you what you would do then if none of them jumped out and screamed at you or you felt anything? What you would then do is just simply be still and look at the crystals and whichever felt right, the color, the feeling, just grab, okay? So you're not looking for anything. This is the problem. Many people are always looking. When I make these videos, oh I, oh, I need to feel what Mark felt. No, just relax and go with the flow. Doesn't matter what crystal you take, whichever crystal you get will be the perfect crystal. That's what you need to get in your head. That just when I show you something, don't just think you have to do it exactly the same. You're doing it wrong if you're doing it just like me, okay? I'm just giving you ideas, okay? So grab yourself a crystal, just run and get one. Okay, now I'm gonna go for a healing oil from my healing oils that I um, work with, okay? So out of my eight, oil, eight oils, I'm gonna go for probably the healing oil today. So I'm gonna look for the healing oil, if I can see it up here. There we go, this is the healing oil, as you can see. Healing, okay, so. I'm gonna take three, oh, and any oils that you, you have at home, just go and grab yourself some oils. Okay, so I'm gonna use this surface. So I'm gonna drop one, two, three drops. And then what I'm gonna do is gently rub those three drops on there. This remained a little bit that I've got on my finger. I always go to my third eye, always. Because what you're doing is you're, you're touching the crystal, you're getting the energy and the oil, and you're connecting here to here, okay? So you're more aware of what the feelings are and what's going on. So as I'm speaking to you now, I place this crystal with the oil here, and uh, just at this moment now here, I'm starting to feel a pain which is normally stress from the jaw. So without even realizing, I've still got some stress on my jaw. I was gonna start working on my, ha on my hand, but my body is now saying, hey Mark, what you thought you were gonna work on isn't. You're gonna go here, right? So that is something you've gotta bear in mind. If you start your healing process with a thought that because you're in pain in your, in your um, uh, arms and you wanna clear that, maybe the root cause can be the jaw. That's how healing works. X never marks the spot. So if you can release that, you might be able to release the pain from the hand. Sounds a little crazy, I know, but bear with me and give it a try. So I thought I was gonna go straight here, but I've been told to go here. So I'd get myself comfortable either lying down or like this, and then I would place the crystal where that feeling was, where that tightness was. Okay, and now I'm just gonna gently massage it in one spot. I can go up and down, gentle movements, not too far, round and round, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. 
but what I'm doing is taking away any thought what I should and shouldn't do and just follow the flow of what my hand wants to do so I'm not thinking anything I'm just doing okay it sounds really really easy but it's not because you're gonna have to get out of your mind and just simply flow so the best way to do that of course is to close your eyes I hope you're following me and doing exactly what feels right on your body while you're working with the crystal getting my hand comfortable so he is there so because it's a big crystal I need it to be comfortable okay so I'm now feeling up here so I'm going up here now wow that's amazing oh my god seriously I didn't realize that I had stress in me but I can feel it disappearing now so <laughs> without even realizing I had stress and didn't even know until I started working with the crystal and opening up so that's amazing God, how how beautiful is this? Seriously. Oof, I didn't even realize I had stress. I thought I was fine. Just shows you. It's beautiful. Always remember to breathe in through the nose and exhale all the toxins, all the stress out of the mouth. Now, I can feel right here, pressure. So I'm gonna focus the crystal, either place it still, and see what happens. I feel my jaw becoming more released every moment that I'm working with this crystal. My eyes feel like they're open even though they're closed. It's incredible. What I'm doing is actually scanning my face to see if there's any blocks or any issues at the same time. So it's almost like I'm, I'm a metal detector. This is a metal detector and it's waiting for it to beep. As soon as it beeps, I'm going to dig in and get whatever's out. out. All this side is actually fine now. Okay, so I'm going to come away with it 
and hold it back in my hand, both hands. So what you've seen there is a very organic way to um, heal the body. Without even realizing, I didn't realize, I said to you, I feel like 80%, I feel great. It's not until you actually do the work, begin the work that you realize, wow, I didn't realize I had tension there. I didn't realize my eye was like closed. Uh, I didn't realize that I had um, like an issue here. And isn't that beautiful? Isn't it beautiful to, to find the connection to your, your body and, and what's going on in just this little section here? And there are so many benefits to this work, so many, so many that you couldn't, I, I, I couldn't even, even within one hour of speaking about this, I couldn't give you all the information. Just by what I was doing, not only are you clearing away the energy of, of tightness, um, negativity, blocks, issues, but you're, you're actually rejuvenating the skin, you, you know, not only with the oil, but with the crystal and oil working together through the hand and through the energy that comes through the universe into you, you're giving yourself a pure energy crystal healing massage. It's a session that is clearing your body, your crystal healing, your face. So you're opening and awakening your third eye. You, you are clearing the stress from your eyes. The tension that is in the jaw that can cause all your body, right down to your spine, your knees and your feet, issue through the face, you are clearing that this feels okay now, that this is the truth, these feel okay now. I don't feel anything now. Literally, don't feel any issue at all. So it goes to show that X never marks the spot. And if we can be open to simply allowing that, oh, I, 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 no, no, I'm not gonna go to the first because I told everybody I'm going to the hand. No, no, no. What you do is you think you're gonna go to a place, but always be aware that your higher senses may take you somewhere else. And if you can win the battle between your brain telling you what you should and shouldn't do, to you flowing in a direction where, as I did very organically, I went to my, I didn't even question it. I thought, oh, I've got to go to my jaw, okay? If you can embrace that technique, which is um, heart over mind, then you will conquer the brain from telling you what you should and shouldn't do because it only sees in one limited direction, which is, oh, pain, there's the problem. Whereas I went, oh, for some reason I'm feeling a pain in my jaw. I went there and started working on that, which then took me to other places, took me to here, took me to here. And when it's healing that, everything else heals the rest of the body. Not always, but I would say a lot of the times, X never marks a spot. And when you can just simply flow in that way, in the pure energy healing direction, you will heal the body immensely. You will heal the body more than you could possibly imagine. So that's one way of working with crystals as I work with them. I'm sure there are thousands of people on social media who are crystal healers, who can show you different techniques. My technique is, is Hey, this is what I'm doing, but what does what do you feel you should do? Tell me underneath here this what what how do you work with crystals? The other thing um, that you know I could share with you all day about healing with crystals, but the flat pebble crystals are fantastic to put a little bit of oil on and go underneath your I'm not gonna put, put lift my foot up but if you gently massage the pebble ones and even this one and even the crystal you've got underneath your feet and do exactly the same thing as you did on your face because every single part of the sole of your foot is connected to the rest of your body so as healers we know that going down to the feet is, an, is, a, is a wonderful thing now if I was to continue doing what I'm doing now the next stage would be to do my head. So I would have gone from there to my head, but I didn't want to do that because it's going to take too much time. 
And from my head, I had a feeling that I needed to go to my neck and my throat. And then from my throat, I would have felt that I would have needed to go somewhere else in the body. And thus, you are giving yourself a pure energy crystal healing massage. And that is how it should be done. Once you've got your focal point, your first point of call, the rest of the body then will call for you to go where you need to go. And thus, it can sometimes take one hour to do a beautiful healing session. But let me tell you, after that one hour healing session, you're hooked for life. You'll want to do it more and more. And then you go on to pure energy healing with your hands. And then you can heal your body with your hands in the same direction, the same way. But crystals are a great way to use as a tool. And if you're unsure about the belief within your hand and your power within yourself, then a crystal will um, bridge that gap of your fear of, oh, what can my hands do? You know, oh, a crystal, yeah, maybe that can work. So if I can bridge that gap of uh, non-belief to actually, my God, I feel better after an hour and this actually worked. You know, oh, I have really heaviness on my shoulders because of work. So you give yourself a massage of your shoulders, but then all of a sudden, hang on a minute, I think I need to go to my back right and if you do it in this form you follow that instinctive feeling that your body calls you to go and stay there until that feeling has surpassed until you think okay that feels better now then your body may call you somewhere else but your the, the secret to healing with crystals is never looking for something let your body speak to you don't ask your body what's wrong so like I just did, I was going to go to my arm and then I went to here because my body said, hey, I need some healing here. So I followed that. That is how pure energy healing works. That really is how it works. Okay, guys, that's it. That's uh, this video done today. I hope you enjoyed this pure energy healing uh, crystal massage. Um, I hope to see you all in... Uh, North America and um, Toronto, April the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th of the Easter long weekend. Uh, I'll be there teaching for four days solid to you guys, sharing you little snippets here, but I'm going to share you everything that I know about pure energy healing and also the other course, which is in Spain. And that's in June the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th. Uh, we're filling up really well so thank you so much all of you it's going to be an amazing four days in Spain and Canada we're going to have a blast it's going to be amazing and what you're going to learn is going to be life changing and it will stay with you for the rest of your life in fact it may even stay for many many lifetimes have a most beautiful day Thank you for staying with me. Thank you for listening to the first part of it, which is about my son. <laughs> Sometimes I like to talk about my uh, children. <laughs> I hope it didn't bore you too much. Have a great day, guys. Thank you for joining Mark Bayeski Crystal Channel again today and see you tomorrow. Take care of yourself till tomorrow. Bye.